Welcome. We're going to look at a physics problem. It is problem 44 out of chapter 2 from Giancoli's book. It involves an unmarked police car traveling at a rate of 95 kilometers per hour that is then passed by a speeder going at a fast rate of 135 kilometers per hour. We notice that it is an unmarked police car, so the speeder doesn't even recognize that it's a police car that they're passing, and they continue to travel at a constant speed of 135 kilometers per hour. It takes the police officer a second to recognize what's going on, and then they begin to accelerate at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. You'll notice, first off, that there is a mixture of units uh, from kilometers over here to meters over there to from the time mixture of units hours there and seconds here and so the first thing I did and to save us a little bit of time I did it ahead of time is to go ahead and convert these values so the 95 kilometers per hour translates to 26.4 meters per second and the 135 kilometers per hour translates to 37.5 meters per second. To try and get at a solution to this problem we're going to do a position versus time plot and I'm going to go ahead and uh, plot position in meters versus time in seconds and we'll just begin with the easier one which is the speeders position versus time plot the speeder is going at a constant rate of 37.5 meters per second the police is going at a slower rate of uh, 26.4 meters per second but then after one second let's suppose one second is right over there the police begins to accelerate and so the curve becomes nonlinear until their positions are one and the same so this is where the position of the police officer equals the position of the speeder the question then is how long did it take for that to happen for the police officer to catch up to the speeder so I'll call that T catch alright um, to help with the calculation a little bit I'm going to shift over the axes a little so I'll do that in a different color in particular I'm going to shift over the axes right over here and I'm going to relabel these axes this will be T tilde in seconds and this will be X tilde in meters having done that I can now come up with the equation of this straight line in this new coordinate system in particular x tilde of the speeder as a function of t tilde time is equal to it's the equation of a straight line so it's the slope intercept form and the slope in this case is the 37 and a half times the time t tilde plus the y intercept or the x tilde intercept which occurs right over here and that happens to be if you were to calculate this you'd find that after traveling for one second the police officer has gone 26.4 meters whereas the speeder had gone uh, 37 and a half meters let me do that in green Okay, so the intercept is going to therefore be 
the difference between these two and it's going to be 11.1 okay as for the other curve this is a um, a second order curve we get that from the equations of kinematics and we'll find that x tilde of the police officer as a function of t tilde time is the velocity initial which was the 26.4 meters per second times t tilde plus one half times the acceleration of the police officer times t tilde squared we were told what the acceleration rate is. It's 2 meters per second squared. And so x tilde of the police officer is 26.4 t tilde plus a half of 2 is 1. So we just find that that is t tilde squared. Now what we're interested in is this point right here which is the point when the police officer speed or position rather x tilde police officer is directly equal to the one for the speeder x tilde speeder and so I'm going to equate the two equations so the police officer's position is 26.4 t tilde plus t tilde squared equal to the speeder's position is 37.5 t tilde plus 11.1. And now we're going to solve for the unknown variable t tilde. We can do that easily by noticing that this is a quadratic equation and to do that we'll just use the quadratic formula so we'll collect terms first of all I'll leave the t tilde squared there that's that term and then I'll bring this t tilde over to the left hand side of the equation and so by doing that it's going to be minus so I'm going to get 26.4 from this term minus the 37.5 from that other term on the right times t tilde and then I'm going to finally bring that term over to the left so it's going to be minus 11.1 which all of that is equal to zero and so now we're going to use the quadratic formula and doing that gives us two roots we're going to find that t tilde is equal to on the positive side it's going to be 12.03 seconds on the negative side it's going to be minus nine minus point nine two seconds and we'll go ahead and reject this value because time should be positive and so the answer so the question is t tilde is 12.03 seconds which means that the original time which was t tilde plus a second should be 13.03 seconds so let's just go back to the graph up here the t original time was this guy whereas we just found the t tilde of catch right here and so that this entire time here t catch is equal to this time plus this one second and so t catch is equal to 13.03 seconds. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful to you and hope to see you in a future video.